As far as Syria is concerned, uh, I would love to get out. I'd love to bring our incredible warriors back home. They've done a great job. We've essentially uh, just absolutely obliterated ISIS in Iraq and in Syria. And we've done a big favor to neighboring countries, frankly, but we've also done a favor for our country. With that being said, uh, Emmanuel and myself have discussed the fact that we don't want to give Iran open season to the Mediterranean, especially since we really control it to a large extent. We really have controlled it, and we've set control on it. As for the Iranian situation, and I think uh, I detailed in my introduction for me the key pillars of this new approach we want to adopt. And it's exactly what President Trump said. We have nuclear on the short run. We have nuclear on the long run. We have ballistic activity. We have regional presence of Iran. We want to fix the situation for these four pillars. Syria is part of the fourth one. And what we have to work on, obviously, with Iran and the different parties in the region, the P5 and our allies, is to find a fair deal where we can fix the overall situation. This is the only way to preserve sovereignty in the region and to build peace on the very long run. Otherwise, we will have to come back in the region because of new terrorist groups, for sure. The United States and France are also cooperating to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons. We are grateful for France's key partnership in our campaign of maximum pressure on the North Korean regime. As you know, I will soon be meeting with Kim Jong-un as we seek a future of peace, harmony, and security for the whole Korean Peninsula and, in fact, for the whole world. However, in pursuit of peace, we will not repeat the mistakes of past administrations. The campaign of maximum pressure will continue. France and the United States also agree that Iran cannot be allowed to develop a nuclear weapon. And that regime must end its support of terrorism. All over, no, where, no matter where you go in the Middle East, you see the fingerprints of Iran behind problems.